the issue of South Sudan is war after war after war. You find that people of South Sudan are traumatized. Mental issues have drove them far away from among themselves. Even you find that some of the communities who are not fighting are fighting each other. So they want peace. They want peace, they want prayers. And according to our uh, faith uh, Bible, to read the word of God is number one, followed by prayer. Because prayer is your uh, communication between you and your God. And then fasting. And our people believe if this holy people comes, it will change a lot. And you will see a lot of people will be coming. Because he was a military man, he was also a politician. He, you can even call him a diplomat. Because the way he talks, the way he does his things. So, um, and the love of people. And he, he was a, a, a people's leader. That's him. And I can say that with all the confidence, because I live with him and I know him. I was even jealous to see that my husband was going to free people of South Sudan. They will deprive me from him. But I say, but I have been in that marginalization. I wanted to give opportunity to my people for this good man to liberate us. <laughs> So he's somebody that I will never forget and I will never see another man like him. None, none. If I'm, if I'm being made a, a girl now, after the history with him, I will never marry it. <laughs> John Paul II. So, um, 2019 I met. I wanted to, if you ask me, I'm free to talk to you about his legacy of what he has done. He has brought us a freedom. And he told us that I had delivered this in the golden platter. It is for us who are alive to see what to do with it. You are the judge.